Hello, I'm John. And welcome to Modded Wheeze and You, your one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded Nintendo Wii. Today we'll be installing some custom iOS's onto your Nintendo Wii by using the D2X CIOS installer. Now, custom iOS's are required by certain homebrew applications such as USB loaders, as well as installing WADs onto your console. So without any further introduction, let's move on to the installation. First, head on over to the link in the description and download the CIOS installer archive. From there, unzip its contents and drag the extracted apps folder to your Wii's SD card. And if prompted to, go ahead and replace any files. Verify that there's a CIOS installer folder on the SD card. Then eject it and insert it back into your Wii. Next, make sure your Wii is connected to the internet and launch the homebrew channel. From there, load the D2X CIOS installer application, at which point you'll be greeted by a lovely welcome message you can pretend to read as you mash any button on your controller to advance. We'll need to install four custom iOSs as this is your standard Wii. However, if you're installing a custom iOS on the Wii U, do not attempt to install the following as it could break your virtual Wii. For the first custom iOS, you'll want to set CIOS to D2X V11 Beta 1, then change the base to 38, the slot to 248, and the revision to 65535, then press A. You'll then be taken to a list of all iOS's on your console. At this screen, press A again, or you'll then be taken to the installation screen. If the install fails, double check that your Wii is connected to the internet and try again. If the install completes successfully, then you can move on to installing the next iOS. For this one, the CIOS will stay at V11 Beta 1, however, you'll want to change the base to 56, the iOS slot to 249, and keep the revision at 65535. Once you've updated the settings, go ahead and press A twice to proceed to the installation. If all goes well, then we can move on to the next one. For the third CIOS, you'll want to keep it on version 11, but change the base to 57, and the slot to 250, while keeping the revision on 65535. Then smack that A button twice to install that biatch. Once the install completes, it's on to the final iOS. Again, we'll keep the iOS on V11, but change the base to 58, change the slot to 251, and keep the revision at 65535. Once the install completes, then you may exit the installer by pressing B, as you have now successfully set up all required custom iOSs on your Wii making it ready for any future homebrew app you may throw at it. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment down below any homebrew applications you'd like to see covered. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos from the network. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.